Out of the many mysteries RuneScape have to offer, there's always been one specific mystery on my mind. What are the level 3s in PvP worlds risking? For those of you who don't know, there are plenty of level 3s in PvP worlds. Skillers, looters, lurers, scouts, and god knows what. My mission today is to create the perfect account to hunt these level 3s and investigate what they are actually risking. For this new project I'm creating, I need a good name. So Scout Zone is the name we're going with. And to make sure I don't gain any combat levels in combat, I will have to make this account an Iron Man. And just for the sake of it, I'll make it a hardcore. The first thing we are getting on our new project is the Dargashan crossbow. And we're gonna start off by questing. First quest up, Rune Mysteries. And I got myself 10k real quickly. And that's Rune Mysteries, completed. And that's the Goblin Diplomacy, completed. And that's the Dorix quest, completed. And that's the Lost Tribe, completed. I think that's the quest done for the Dargish and Crossbow. Ooh, 22 money. Yep. We now have ourselves the Dargish and Crossbow, which we need 28 range to use. Keep in mind, for this account, I want to stay as low hit points as possible throughout, so I can maximize my damage on my opponents. And to keep my hit points as low as possible, we need a poison weapon. And the best place we can get one is from rogues in level 50 wilderness. The first risky thing we're doing on this account, we're stepping into the wilderness and heading straight to the rogue's castle. At level 95, he's probably about the first person we see in the wilderness. Cool iron, probably about. Level 56, PK. That's not fun at all. That's actually scary. I'm gonna hop. Why do, is there so many people in the wilderness today? Iron dagger poison, that's all we need. Shit, there's a level 70 here, we're gonna hop worlds casually. There's a peak air here as well, we're gonna hop off casually. And this world is clear. Oh no. Yes! We got it! The iron dagger poison! We actually got it! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! We're done! The first quest which requires me to do combat is Druidic Ritual. We need four types of meat. We can actually buy two of them here at Widen, Raw Chicken and Raw Beef. Okay, we found a rat. We need to poison him. And it got poisoned. And now we just wait for it to die. And that's the rat dead. Like, oh shit. Oh my god, that's the final meat! And that is the Druidic Ritual completed. <gasps> I'm being attacked! Oh no! A brutal victim is attacking me! And that is the Jungle Potion completed. Besides the Dargish and Crossbow, we need one last weapon for this account. The last weapon we need is a spear with Karambuan Poison, which we can get by completing Taibo one Eye Trio. Alright, this is one of the harder parts of the quest. We need to kill this jogger and get him poisoned. I hit. I hit. Is that the poison? The yes! It's the poison! Now we wait. He got the poison, we now have got the kill in lockdown. There it is, there's the kill. It took us a total of 43 minutes to kill a joker. Alright, this is a scary part of the quest. I only have one Karam one, I need to successfully cook this one. If I fail, I will have to get myself 65 fishing to get myself some more Karam one. So here we go. No, it burnt. Oh no! One week of non-efficient fishing training later. 65 fish and we can now go back and get ourselves the Karam ones. And there we have it, we got the poison Karam one. I got my ass all the way to Mount Karam and bought myself a steel spear, which I can use my Karam one poison on for a poisoned steel spear. And after that, I boxed this dummy until five attack. If we manage to stack this poison together with the Dargish and crossbow, we will be able to stack the level three's full hit points. I decided to complete the quest Client of Corinth for two antique lamps, which we can use on strength without gaining any hit points experience. There we go, nine strength, just like that. I decided to complete the Karamia Diary two. Oh, there we go, we got the Karamia Gloves one and a lamp for I think it's 1k experience 
we now have 13 strength. Two levels away from being able to barbarian fish for even more strength experience. Now combat 8 and we are still 10 hit points. It is now time for the riskiest quest so far. Death to the Dorgushan. We got a boss fight against a level 50 foe here. Good luck to me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite nervous about this fight but here we go. We have spent over a week on this account. I don't want to die at this part. Can probably save SWAT over here. And this is the third guard down. Please be the poison. Yes, that's the poison. And now we wait. And that Sigmund dead! We did it! Wow, the death to the Dargishan has now been completed. And 13, 13 range, very important for the account. And we are still 10 hit points. A very good reason for why we completed this quest, we can now do ham storeroom for these keys where we can get money from. And this may just be our main money making method. First inventory, a solid 11k. Loot from 5 inventories, 10 inventories, 20, 30, 40. I did see two level 3 catching shins right here by this guy, so we're gonna log in under them. Hopefully, we'll get one of them. Here we go, I think I poisoned him. Don't teleport, don't teleport. Where is he running off to? Come on, please poison him. He's poisoned! Come on! Oh, he didn't have a get corona. Oh my god. How many shins is that? Let's log out. No I was on the wrong world on this account. I can't pick it up. However looking at the loot tracker He did actually have 36 red chin chompas. Oh look at all the jewelry we have from ham store rooms 874k based on grand exchange, but we're gonna sell all of these to the jewelry shop I'm gonna need myself a total of 750k Oh no, I shouldn't sell to PvP shops. <laughs> this is going to be the money! 750k, that's all we need for the dwarf multi cannon. Let's finish the quest. And there we go, the quest has been completed. 750k later, that's the full cannon. This is what we have been waiting for, the cannonball making has begun. Our first time using this cannon will be to kill implings for the imp catcher quest. So we can get ourselves an amulet of accuracy. 15 range. Oh yes! We got the yellow beds, now we got a red bed as well. There we have it, the black bed. Oh uh, yes, that's the final bed. The white bed. And that's the imp catcher completed for the amulet of accuracy and level 9 magic. I did a few more quests so I could get myself iron gloves. In the future I will upgrade to potentially mithril gloves, but this will be good enough for now. It is time for us to do something risky once again. We're going all the way to the fountain of rune in 50 wilderness just to charge the sapphire necklace and get some games necklace as our main teleporting method. We see two bots right there. I haven't had PTSD for one month but it's slowly coming back. And I believe we now have enough teleports to complete this video. 20 range, another upgrade to the account, studded chaps. Hey, there it is! There it is, 28 range, look at this. The Dorgishan crossbow and the Dorgishan bows. Ah, uh, look at that Dorgishan crossbow, we can now go PKing, finally! 16 combat, I can actually go up to 18 combat, but I'm gonna save the last levels for potential quests I'm gonna do in the future. Have a look at this. It's taken me 3 days and 15 hours to get to this point of wearing a Dorgishan crossbow. Wow. I'm gonna buy myself the dead man's chest just for the fashion scape, just for the thumbnail. Let's see here. Does it look good? Yeah, yeah. That was not nice at all. So now that we have the dead man's chest, I think it's time for us to go and investigate what the level 3s are risking in PvP worlds. This could be a massive success or a massive failure. Either way, I think you should subscribe right now because we are very, very close to 200,000 subscribers. And now, let's find out what the level 3s are actually risking. So we have spotted a target, he's standing right under me. Let's go! Could potentially be poisoned. Is he dead now? 
<gasps> He's dead! We got him! Let's go, baby! Uh, I think we got nothing. I just witnessed a level 3 going to the ham storeroom somewhere. Yeah, the door is open. And another 6 for the kill. Ah! Not much. And good to know, I will be playing on four different accounts at all time to make sure I find as many level 3s as possible. I have found the lore, young rich boy. I don't know what he is risking, but he has a lot of fashion scape. I got one chance to actually kill him, but I failed. We didn't get the RNG we wanted. And ever since this attempt, I haven't seen him for an entire week, so I think he left PvP worlds for good. For some reason, there are scout bots in every single world right here. The first bot got nothing. The second bot? Got nothing. The third bot? Got nothing. I noticed there's a lot of low levels doing Winter Todd in PvP worlds, so I got myself 50 fire making. I also got 38 strength, the max strength level without gaining a combat level. I also got myself 29 range, this increases my max hit with range to 7. After getting my newly gained stats, I've decided to go back to PvP worlds, but this time killing looters. Ah, oh, we secured the kill, 2 hit. Good fight, man. When I realized that the looters basically risked nothing, I tried a different approach, and that was to tax the looters 100k to loot freely on my watch. And when that didn't work, I killed them again, and again, and again, and again. Your nan sucks dick. After spending 10, 20, 30 hours killing level 3s and scouting in PvP worlds, I started to think this idea was a disaster because I kept getting nothing. But then, this man showed up. Gold level 3 is here. Here we go. The PJ. Is that poison? You suspect? Why is he AFK in here in Lumbridge? What the fuck? Oh, that's a bone bolt. Coins, air rune, earth rune, glory, water. All types of runes. Please tell me it's something good. 700k! Oh my god, 570k cash! I thought this video would become a total failure. We actually got something. We actually got something. 700k PK. I am very happy with this. Wow. The great thing about this account is the fact that I will never gain a combat level in PvP. And for the rest of my life, I will be able to hunt level 3s in PvP worlds. But one mystery I yet need to solve, what are these level 3s in Fashionscape risking? I have seen them once every 10 hours. They are moving around so much in the RuneScape map, and I am intrigued. If there's ever a second episode on this hardcore man, I will have killed one of them. Teleported. No! He teleported!